Good morning, everyone. Here's your weather hazard briefing for Sunday, July 18th, and we are going to continue to watch moisture increasing across the area. But ahead of that today, we do have a few more isolated thunderstorms expected, and you might see a brief burst of rainfall, a few hundreds, definitely some lightning and some gusty outflow winds. Ahead of that, also, it gets hot again today, even hotter than yesterday as the ridge briefly builds up across the area. And that does include some uh, heat-related issues across many of our lower elevation locations. Now, as we go into tonight and especially tomorrow, and this will continue through midweek, the monsoon moisture surge really comes up into our area. That means more showers and thunderstorms producing a decent rainfall. And unfortunately, probably looking at the potential of some flash flooding or debris flows, especially on some of our uh, more steep train and uh, burn scar areas coming with this particular event. And again, that mainly will be tomorrow and especially Tuesday into Wednesday. Looking at where we had our lightning yesterday, pretty much across portions of the South Hills through the bench areas along 84 and 86 up through about Idaho Falls and a few strikes over towards uh, the Teton Valley and over Palisades Reservoir. Now, these are cloud-to-ground lightning strikes. Uh, we would had a lot more in-cloud lightning strikes, quite a bit of thunderstorm activity in those areas yesterday as well. Not so much in the Central Mountains like we would had the past few days. Satellite loop shows there is that moisture creeping up this morning already into Nevada, portions of Arizona and Utah. That deeper moisture arrives Overnight tonight and into tomorrow, there is a leftover thunderstorm activity from yesterday, and that continues to lift through portions of central Montana this morning. Our weather and impacts outlook matrix, you can see where a little more impact expected across the Snake Plain, the Magic Valley, the South Hills, also up in the Red River area. These are areas where we have our heat advisory in effect. Otherwise, hot with some isolated dry thunderstorms again across the area. For tomorrow, uh, there is an increasing threat of locally heavy rain. Some of these storms tomorrow, especially where we can get a little bit of sun, there'll be some heavy rain. Tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day with that. Otherwise, showers and thunderstorms, the only place we're expecting scattered coverage is over the South Hills, and we do have a fire weather watch in effect for Monday afternoon and evening in that area. Tuesday, at this point, it's the best chance of seeing wide, more widespread showers, more widespread thunderstorms, potential of some heavy rain flooding or debris flow issues, and that trend continues into Wednesday and Thursday. The thunderstorm coverage is a little bit less, and I think our flooding and debris flow issues will be mainly confined to the higher elevations. There will be some locally heavy rain if we can get some storms going across portions of the Magic Valley and the Snake Plains. So let's take a look at how are things going. This is first. This is a look at the smoke forecast going through the next little while. And you can see we do have some smoke moving through, but you'll notice well, a lot of it is pushing to the north and to the east of us as that high pressure ridge shifts in and then the ridge shifts far enough to the east that we get southwest flow in here. And that's going to take a lot of the smoke out of our area as we go into tomorrow as well. There'll be a little bit of a return and also whatever builds with the fires across the central mountains into portions of southwest Montana or any other new fires that may be developing over the next 24 hours or so. So that's pretty much where the smoke, a lot of the thicker smoke is headed away from our area. Now looking at the forecast in terms of we're going to see a few thunderstorms for today, you'll notice across the central mountains, especially from the mountains northeast of Sun Valley up through Gilmore Summit, Mackey, the uh, uh, Lost River and Pershimeroy Valley areas, those ranges as well into southwest Montana. A few isolated thunderstorms, not much expected, but enough there, especially across the South Hills back towards uh, Jackpot and maybe in towards Pocatello as well, the mountains and benches south and west of Pocatello. Uh, what we see, will we see storms across the Snake Plain today? It's not likely, but, you know, we have these outflow boundaries and anything can form along an outflow boundary in these conditions. Now, going into tonight, you can start to see a little bit of moisture moving in across southern Idaho, and that trend will continue through the overnight hours. And honestly, this will probably be a little bit farther to the east, so the South Hills up through the Magic Valley, well into the Central Mountains. This will be some light showers. There might be a thunderstorm or two. We can't rule that out. A lot happens sometimes with these monsoon pushes. Now, 
For tomorrow, we have this moisture surge spreading north and east across the area. This trend will continue into tomorrow afternoon. Now, you'll notice where we get a little more sunshine, we get some pretty good storms developing, especially across the South Hills down towards Jackpot back in Nevada. That's where the scattered thunderstorm potential is there, and that fire weather watch is in effect for tomorrow afternoon evening. Other isolated showers and thunderstorms. And the reason we're not expecting more widespread thunderstorm coverage tomorrow this is one of these situations. There's going to be a lot of cloud cover earlier in the day, and we won't get any thunderstorms really to develop until we start to see some breaks in the clouds. And that'll be on the back side of that surge is moving into portions of Wyoming and Montana later on tomorrow afternoon. But like we said, going into Tuesday, especially Tuesday, more widespread showers and thunderstorms, some heavy rain potential coming our direction at that time. But for today, we talked about the heat. Temperatures in the Wood River Valley in the mid to upper 90s. We're going to hit low 100s across portions of the Magic Valley and mid to upper 90s across the rest of the Snake Plain down into the South Hills as well, also the Raft River area. Other areas will hit in the 90s as well, 97 in Chalice, 92 in Mackey. If you're headed to the mountains, it's going to be in the 80s for this afternoon. Now, tomorrow morning, with the moisture moving in, the cloud cover moving in, temperatures are not going to get very cool, especially in portions of the lower Snake Plain, the Magic Valley, and the valleys as you head towards the Utah border, Malad, 70, near 70 in Pocatello, low to mid-70s across the Magic Valley, Stanley, 49 degrees. So some of our cooler spots will get there at least uh, for tomorrow morning. Elsewhere, we'll be in the 50s. And 60s. Now, tomorrow with the cloud cover, look at the difference in temperature. Some of us may actually not get above 90 degrees tomorrow. It's been a while. Let's just put it that way. Otherwise, some of us will continue our streaks of days at or above 90 degrees. Low to mid 90s across portions of the Magic Valley. Some places on, like I said, not hitting 90 degrees. 85 in Stanley, 91 in Chalice tomorrow, 93 up at Stanley. Going into Tuesday morning, it'll be a little bit cooler, but I think if we get a little more cloud cover, we can boost those temperatures up a handful of degrees for Tuesday morning. And for Tuesday, temperatures continuing to back off just a little bit in some areas. So this may be a very small break in this very long period of heat and excessive heat we've had across our region uh, for the past several days and weeks. As we go into Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, you're, not, you're noticing not much difference. Maybe a brief rebound, rebound in temperatures into Wednesday and into Thursday as well. So we do have some active weather coming our way, and it's definitely a pattern change. It's not necessarily going to be a long-lasting pattern change, but certainly one that's going to be quite a bit different than what we've seen. So again, today ahead of that monsoon moisture, we have a few thunderstorms, lightning, some gusty outflow winds, and maybe just a small amount of rainfall with some of the stronger storms. Temperatures, again, in many of the valleys, mid-90s to low 100s. It's going to be in the 80s if you're headed into the mountains. And as that monsoon moisture increases, especially tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday and Thursday, increasing chance of some decent rain-producing thunderstorms, and the potential of uh, some flash flooding and some debris flows, unfortunately, with that moisture coming into our area. Have a great day, and do stay safe out there, everyone.